How to wash your hands properly from faeces and bacteria. Stomata. It is known that poo can survive for days or sometimes weeks on the surface. Therefore, please remember to wash your hands whenever you have to attend to your stoma. And here are some easy to follow steps to keep your hands clean. Turn on the tap if it doesn't automatically come on. Wet your hands with water. Cold water can be used or you can adjust the temperature to a comfortable heat for your hands. If you presume that your hands are already contaminated, then use paper or another part of your body to turn on the lever on the tap. Wash with soap. Use soap to wash your hands, preferably antibacterial soap. Apply about one centimetre blob of soap or use a soap bar to cover and lather your hands properly. You can actually use any soap, which will be better than just rinsing alone with water or just drying your hands. The reason the soap should be used is to release oils that attract the germs. If you use a detergent soap bar, try to keep it clean from collecting too much dirt or from the slimy areas. They can harbour some germs and poop, but they shouldn't spread illness or transfer diseases when sharing the soap. Follow six simple parts to wash your hands properly. These will help to thoroughly wash all parts of your hands and you should take a total of at least 20 seconds to reduce the count of bacteria or risk of infection. Part 1. Rub or circulate the palms of your wet hands together with the soap until they become covered in a foam lather. This is like rolling dough into a ball. Rubbing and friction will help to remove the germs. This action washes the palms of your hands. Part 2 Place and interlock the fingers of one hand on top of the other. Move the top hand up and down to scrub the back of the hand and in between the fingers. Repeat this part for your other hand. This action washes the back of your hands. Part 3 Put your palms together and interlock fingers. Move your fingers away and back from each other, keeping the insides touching, like a villain from a movie conjuring up a plan. This action cleans the inside of your fingers. Part 4 Face the palms of your hands together in opposing directions, then link the fingertips and twist your hands back and forward. This is like squeezing lemon juice between your hands. This action cleans the fingers. Part 5 Grab the thumb with the palm of your other hand and twist your wrapped hand forward and back. This is like twisting a motorbike handle. Repeat this part for your other hand. This action cleans the thumb. Part 6 Press your fingertips from one hand into the palm of the other hand. Repeat this part for your other hand. This is like scratching an itch. This action cleans your nails and fingertips. Turn the tap back on if it isn't still running and rinse your hands by using similar actions to those we just did. And now you're all done with washing. When you've rinsed away the soap, dry your hands using paper towels or a clean wash towel that you know has not been contaminated. Turn or lever off the tap by using the paper towel or another part of your body. Please remember, germs and bacteria can remain on your hands or contaminated areas for up to 15 minutes. Make sure your hands are dry, because wet hands can spread thousands of times more germs. Dispose of paper towels without touching the bin and try to avoid immediately touching door handles, especially in public areas. Your hands are now clean and safe enough from faeces or bacteria. So, to conclude, it is important to wash your hands after changing your stoma bag cleaning your stoma or emptying ostomy bags because the faeces can easily get on your hands and be transmitted. Thank you for watching. Here are three reasons if you'd like to subscribe so I can continue to show the better side of life for someone with an ostomy, autoimmune disease or invisible illness like myself with Crohn's disease. One will be to ask common questions about ostomy, which is a stoma, ileostomy or colostomy with the best answers that I've found through YouTube videos, Google searches, Facebook and Twitter.
too will be sharing information into our community from the most relevant articles that I can find to answer the questions properly. And three will be keep on clicking. In time I hope to receive over a thousand subscribers to my channel and receive YouTube monetization in which I'd love to donate to chosen charities. So keep looking out for the regular questions, click to view it, and I hope it's your answer to remission or better times. For more of our videos about greater times to live with a stoma bag, choose one of our featured playlists or subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to receive our latest videos. Shout and holler your story in the comments section below. Still mama.